Welcome in. Happy Monday, Parker, Sipple, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra.com. Sipple, it's the final week of the regular season. How about that? Yeah, I, I regard that with mostly sadness. Yeah. I do. Football oh, season. Oh, it just flies by. Yeah, football season's fun. And this, I mean, I've had fun covering these last couple games. Ohio State, Wisconsin, Nebraska played them really close. Now we have a developing story, though. Yes, yeah, so we're starting with the two minute drill today. So for four downs, uh, check out journalstar.com slash Huskers later on today. Starting with the two-minute drill today because simple big news, uh, Adrian Martinez has a shoulder injury. It's going to require surgery. He's obviously, Frost said today, out against Iowa because of that shoulder injury. So let's let's get to that first and then talk about maybe the long-term ramifications after that. What did you make when, when Frost said that and, and where does, where's your thoughts go first, I guess? Well, it wasn't – I mean, it wasn't necessarily surprising because, number one, Adrian is at the Monday press conferences every single yeah, time yeah. as the program's leader, uh, player leader, but he was not here today. And then we had been hearing things this morning like he could be out. Um, so then it, it just became kind of, I don't know, I guess I wasn't that surprised based on what I was hearing and the fact he wasn't here. Yeah. But I don't know, you have a lot of mixed emotions about it, a lot of mixed thoughts maybe is a yeah. better way to put it. And one, uh, one of them is it's just – God, I mean, I, they have a great chance to beat Iowa. They had this very aggressive game plan against Wisconsin. It, it was literally 50-50 pass run, and he passed the ball really well. It was They played really well offensively. You figured they'd have a great shot to beat Iowa with Adrian, and now he's not going to be here. Now you feel also terrible for Adrian. Yeah, 100%. God, I mean, he's just had a – his career has been really difficult, um, and this is just kind of one more thing. Yeah, he played through a broken jaw and a high ankle sprain this year. And then Frost said, you know, part of the ironic thing was they actually protected against Wisconsin pretty well. It was sort of a nondescript hit. You know, he's rolling to his right, and he just kind of went out, and he put his arms down, his right arm, we think. Uh, And he said, you know, well, we know because Frost said, he, he said he was feeling some clicking in his shoulder. Feeling some clicking. Throwing the ball. Yeah, you don't want to feel clicking in your shoulder. No. Ever. No. Not even you when don't you're, not even when you're 50 in your mid fifties. Right, 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 right. Uh, and so now part then the next part of the conversation, a real part of the conversation is it's going to be a young quarterback that plays for Nebraska against Iowa. Now I asked Frost, so does that Logan's your guy, right? And he said, yeah, they're both ready. They're both ready. Logan Smothers and Heinrich Harburg. Frost said he could envision a situation in which both of those guys play against Iowa. You figure, you know, and Frost said Logan has earned the chance to be the guy. It'd be, I think a surprise if he didn't start the question will be, do both he and Heinrich Harburg see time against the Hawks? Yeah, you wonder if they'll, if they'll just try to kind of rotate him a little bit or if he'll just be Logan. I my, my inclination is to say it'll be Logan Smothers' show. Yeah. That's what I think. That's basically what – he's the number two guy all year, Yeah, right? So I think it'll be the Logan Smothers' show. Going back to Adrian Parker, we you know, we hear all these kind of things, that, cliches about football. It's a game of attrition and – it, you can get cr- pretty callous about injuries. And I don't want to be too maudlin about this, maudlin, but it's rough. I mean, it's a, it's a tough deal yeah. for Adrian Martinez. It really is. Life moves fast. You don't really think about stuff. Um, but, man, I mean, this is this is kind of a jolt. And um, now there's long-term ramifications, too. That's what I was just going to ask does, you. Does this mean Adrian Martinez – like, if let's just say it's a – He's going to have surgery. There's going to be a recovery period. What if it's a six-month recovery that takes you into May? Now, could he transfer to another school and not have spring practice right. and try to get ready? It takes away – I think no matter what, if it, like if Adrian would have left, Nebraska definitely would have needed a quarterback from the portal, right? Even if you like Logan Smothers and Heinrich Harburg, you've got Richard Torres coming in, and he'd be your third scholarship guy. That's pretty light. Yeah, that's light. So – now it's all you almost seemingly we'll see what they decide, but it's almost like you have to proceed that way, even if he decides to come back, because you don't know when or if he's going to be fully healthy between now and the beginning of next year. Hell, you don't even know what kind of offense you're going to be running. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. so everybody's kind of starting from scratch. But yeah, what Scott said by way of information is Adrian's taking a few some days, time, yeah. yeah, some time to kind of step back. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot going through his mind and 
he just probably needs to remove himself from the equation a little bit and get that all squared away in his head. That yeah, changes the equation for Nebraska against Iowa. Jeez. Might change the equation and how they approach December, January. It's going to change the equation for whoever the new offensive coordinator is when that person gets here. Um, so it's, it's, yeah, big news uh, here in Lincoln. So a lot more on the quarterback situation uh, coming up in print and probably in videos we go along this week and into the offseason. For Sipple, I'm Parker. Thanks for watching.